everyone, Gabby here, and this week we are doing another cosplay review. Before I kind of get into the reasons why this has happened and why you are seeing the title of Amazon vs. AliExpress, we're going to rewind to like a few weeks ago where I ordered a Miku cosplay off AliExpress. I will insert a picture of the listing here. And there were some shipping issues with my postal service, said it was delivered, never got anything in the mail. And so I then went on Amazon and I purchased what I will include the listing for the Amazon one right here. Thinking, okay, at least I'll have the Amazon one if my post office has truly lost my AliExpress one. But, as you can see, I have two different Mikus here, and I need to determine which one I'm going to keep, which one I'm going to return or resell. We are gotta decide that, because in like a few weeks, I have to perform as Miku for Pop Cult, which I'm very excited about. So, before we dive into the unboxing and review, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you are new here, because I do lots of cosplay reviews and give my tips and tricks about shopping for cosplays. So. Let us start, I think we should start with, which one should we start with? I think we should start with the Amazon one because I feel like Amazon is still more accessible than AliExpress to people. Also, both of these cosplays were about the same price, so that's why I think it's really interesting to compare the two and see kind of what you're willing to wait for, basically. So, let's get into it. First thing on the top is the skirt which looks like this. It is actually a nice, like it's pretty soft. It's not lined and there's no shorts inside. But what I do like about it is it's both a zipper closure, if I can get the zipper, pretty smooth zipper, but it also has elastication on the sides, which will help kind of give you that very like it, it, it'll fit even though the Miku top goes over the like base of the skirt. It'll still fit you pretty nicely It also has I don't know how well it'll show up on camera These little loops for the belt to clip onto so that's piece number one then we have the top Also, I will say I did buy these cosplays in two different sizes because I'm kind of in between sizes It really depends on the size chart as to what size I buy so this one is an Asian large, in case you were wondering. Um, I'm really not liking the feeling of the shirt off the bat. It's like that very like, st not stiff, but like that like kind of cheap cosplay fabric material. Um, I love the trim though. I love that they did like her little triangles. You know, but I'm looking at the shirt and when I hold it up to my light, it's like kind of see-through. I'm a little concerned that it might be a little see-through. It definitely needs to be ironed though, but it's not like the worst thing. And the way you put it on is a zipper down the front, which will be covered by the tie, which I think is okay. Would I prefer it to be a back zipper? Yeah, but I can understand why this would be convenient. Next, we have the socks, which I am not that excited about. Honestly, whenever I cosplay Miku, I typically just do black socks because finding black socks in that little blue band is really hard. I don't, I don't like this. It's like they put a hair tie in the sock for the blue part. And I mean, it might stay up, which might be nice, but I just, I'd rather wear like black socks. So I just don't think those are really special. Then we have the arm warmers, which are also tragically the same like thin hair tie, basically. I don't like that. Cause also then, when it's on, you can like not even see the blue. Like what's the point of even putting it there then? Like, you know what I mean? It just like, I think construction wise, I just think this looks really sad and you can't even see it anyway. So why did you even do it? You know what I mean? Now I'm about to roast this immediately because the piece that is poking out of the belt is this. Not that this is a huge deal, but like, Come on, 
quality control. Just a little, just a little quality control. I like that the belt clips are like the lobster clasps because those are easier for me to open. But also they didn't even do the back of the belt. They just did one side of the belt. And it's still not that great. So I don't know what I think of that. Just not that great. And then we have the tie, which is just like a full on tie. I don't have much to say about a tie. It's a tie. I'm gonna have to make someone tie it for me because I can't tie ties. And like I said, at least this was prime, like so it's like pretty like accessible. Like if you last minute needed a Miku cosplay, which is what I thought I was gonna have to have. I think it's okay. I definitely would change a lot of things and we'll get into that, but let's first see the AliExpress one. Let's all keep in mind, this is the one that I originally wanted more. So I'm probably gonna like it better. Let's go in the same order that we compared the last pieces. So we're gonna start with the skirt. And as you can immediately tell, this is one of the vinyl Mikus, which I think looks really good for default. Do I think the vinyl looks good for all of the characters? No, but I think for Miku, it just pops with the teal, the black. So here's the skirt. It is what looks like a side zipper. Super smooth for it being vinyl, honestly. Like there was no, usually in between the band and the skirt, I get like a little nag. Not a nag, snag, what word? It's usually hard to zip up from there, but this is very smooth, which is quite nice. And then is it lined? It's also lined, which is nice, especially when you're wearing a vinyl cosplay. If it's not lined, it is incredibly uncomfortable. So I like that. There's not, there's like a tiny amount of stretch comparing that to the other Miku skirt. I think the little stretchy bits in the Miku skirt make it better, but also this is covered by the top. I quite like the skirt. The only thing, the ribbon at the bottom is just regular ribbon, it's not vinyl or anything, which I don't know if I like that yet. I just feel like it should have all been vinyl then. So then we have the top, which is a similar, like super shiny material. It also has a zipper down the front like the other Miku top. Let's see how you go though. Nice and smooth. Again, I would prefer it to be like a back zipper or even a side zipper, but the tie will cover it, so I'm not too concerned. The top has a ton of stretch in it, which I really like, and it's lined as well. I like that it has stretch because in my opinion, I like Miku, like the way her top fits, I want that look. I want it to look fitted. So I like that this is stretchy, which means it should fit really nicely to the body, and it is pretty well constructed. It has a lot of darting in it to give you that shape. So I'm quite happy with this. Again, the light blue trim comparing this one to the other one is just like plain ribbon. I liked that the Amazon one had the little triangles because that's like what the default Miku has. So now again, we all know cosplay socks and I, we don't get along, but I like this. No, actually, I don't know if I like this better. Whoa, this is not done correctly. Um, so it looks like they literally just painted a strip of blue on the sock, which is what I remember seeing a lot of people do in the early Vocaloid cosplay days. Um, I'm just gonna wear black socks. I somehow don't like this better than the weird hair tie at the top. Like, neither of these socks are either special to me. Granted, it's like when I'm dancing, I prefer like my thigh highs that I buy from Yes Style that have the little silicone to help it stay on your leg. Those I prefer significantly, we'll always wear those. This, I don't think I'm gonna use. Then we got the belt, which has some loose threads. I don't know if you can see. They also only did one side of the belt, but they only gave us safety pins to pin it to the vinyl which I don't really like because it will, like if it gets pulled, it can damage the vinyl. Not that happy about that. Next we have the arm pieces, which again, it's that little, that little elastic. I'm looking at this. I don't know if it's gonna fit my arm. Here is the vinyl one. I do like it better looks wise. I might have to make the elastic a little bit bigger just cause it's insanely tiny. Like 
this elastic it it has a decent amount of stretch but it is so small also this whole cosplay is in an asian medium because based on the measurements of that store i should buy a medium then we have another blue miku tie don't have much to say it is a blue miku tie but this one though came with headphones and so I have just like a black headband, headphones with a little mouthpiece, which I'm gonna have to attach to the headband. I mean, it's just craft foam, which I definitely could do myself. I'm definitely gonna add like some glitter or something to it because it's quite plain. And they actually have clips in the pigtails, which I think will help them stay on. And then the last little thing is they gave us the number one tattoo for the arm. And now the question we all want to know, which one am I keeping and which one am I reselling? Now, in my opinion, the accessories can always be reworked, remade, etc., etc. The main concern is how well the top and the skirt fit. And I think quite obviously by which one I'm currently wearing, I will be keeping the AliExpress shiny vinyl one. The Amazon one, although the size chart says it should fit me, is huge. The top, because it is such a like, you know, kind of like lightweight, not that great cotton or something, it did not fit well at all. And I'll insert a clip of me wearing just the top so you can see how it fit, and then compare that to how well the stretchy vinyl version fits. I. Once I put the top on, I was like, this is the one I'm keeping. I definitely want to rework some of the accessories and add a little more zhuzh, a little more pizzazz to them, but I will be keeping the vinyl option. So in the war between Amazon versus AliExpress, this time AliExpress has won. Thank you all so much for watching this week's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, yes, you, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's right there. Woo! And in the comments, let me know which Miku cosplay you would have kept and why. I, like I said, I think the way the actual outfit fits matters more to me than the accessories. So that's why I'm going to go with this version, but let me know which one you would have chosen. I also will link both of them in the description of the video in case you're looking for a Miku cosplay that is in the $40 to $50 price range. Follow me over on Instagram and Twitter to see cosplay content. I will be having a ton of Miku content there soon, which is very exciting. And I will be, you know, maybe vlogging the convention if I remember to bring my camera and take time to vlog. That's really the hard part, but I will try my best to do that. All right, thank you all so much again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Can you see yourself in the camera? You don't want to look at the camera because you know you did a naughty.